Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So finally, the video that a lot of people have been waiting for, it's Tomei time. <laughs> now I got this uh, actually last week. I just haven't had time to actually install it, but we're gonna knock it out tonight. Now, if you guys are curious as to why I'm switching over from the AWE track cat back uh, to the Tomei, go back in the video in the top right corner. It explains everything. But in short, I just really, really want to try a Tomei, get my opinion on it, because then I can share my feedback. Uh, you know, and give people an idea of what it sounds like, what it does for the car. Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Is a single exit life for me? You know, those kinds of questions that a lot of people ask me on the daily. Um, and I, now I'll be able to answer since I got one, I'll be able to experience it. Um, so like I said, I'm running the AWE track catback. Love it. Sounds fantastic. Uh, but just want to try this out. I haven't sold either of them yet, but whatever one doesn't make the cut, I'll end up selling that one. So if I ended up liking the Tomei, the AWE will be for sale. If I still like the AWE and I don't like the Tomei, the Tomei will be for sale. So I'll let you guys know once that actually does happen, but this is the best way to do it. Keep both of them, try them out, see which one I like, then put that one back on the car. So I don't want to make this video too long of too much chatting because it is about this beautiful exhaust. Um, so let's go ahead, jack the car up, get the AWE off, and then we can throw this one on. Alrighty, we got the AWE track cat back off the car. That literally, I can't believe it took six minutes. And that was me taking my time. So very, very simple install and also removal of any exhaust, um, especially if you just keep it together. I'm gonna take it apart so I can store it for now. Uh, but honestly, it's literally just the two bolts up there connecting to the downpipe uh, and then one bushing there. And then for the track exhaust, it's just two bushings. Um, so really simple, but I'm gonna unbolt the clamps here, which I already did here. And actually already loosened that one as well. I'm just gonna slip them off and then uh, store it in the box for now. And then if I decide to go back to this one, I can simply do that. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, start installing the Tomei. Really, really simple and straightforward. Plus it weighs nothing. It's gonna be much easier to install since it's so light. You don't need multiple hands to uh, hold things up. So, all right, let's go ahead, throw that in. All right, guys, so we got everything buttoned up. I put all the spring clamps on and all the uh, actual exhaust clamps, and this fits extremely well. I don't know why people leave the nine foot gap uh, that you know you normally see on Tomei's, but you literally can adjust to whatever size gap you want. With this type of hanger, you can literally twist the entire muffler. So you can adjust it up or down. You can you know angle the, uh, the logo here perfectly. So if you guys have a really low hanging Tomei, which is pretty much all that I've seen, all you gotta do is loosen uh, the bolt on this clamp right there and then just twist the exhaust. You can actually loosen uh, the connection right here as well and then twist this whole piece and it goes right up. So fits really, really well. Everything looks fantastic. You can uh, see it all down there. Let's uh, actually go over by the downpipe connection area. It made it up to the Grim Speed downpipe perfectly. There's no gap. I'm really, really happy about that because the previous exhaust that I ran um, had a massive gap there and I had to run an adapter. But here we go, no gap. Everything lined up perfectly. Nothing's hitting any heat shields or anything. This is easily one of the best fitting exhausts that I've actually had on this car, which is pretty surprising for the price point. 
Um, I know it's very, very sought after and a lot of people love this exhaust. It looks great and it fits perfectly and uh, hopefully it sounds pretty good. So. so now that I got that buttoned up, I'm gonna go over here and actually install the exhaust cutout little block off plate right here. This little tab, you just bend it up over the little plastic piece. Then you put two self taps in the bottom of the bumper and you're all set. So I was test fitting that prior and it fits really well. So it's a matter of just positioning it in the right spot. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that fitment. I can't believe it. I thought it was gonna be hanging down super low and I was gonna have to deal with, uh, you know, getting it fitting right, but man, it looks great. So let me go ahead and uh, get the exhaust uh, cut out, little uh, block off plate installed, and then we can finally start this thing up. All right, guys, got the block off plate installed. Really simple, it's just a uh, self tap in that corner and then a self tap in that corner. It was a little hard on this side because my diffuser's in the way, so I had to make a new hole um, and get that sorted out. But we're good, and then there's just a little middle tab you bend over on the plastic piece right here, and it's on there really well. So nice, clean, finished look, really happy with that. Um, so now let's go ahead, get the car back on the ground, clean everything up, and let's get a cold start. guys so i'm on my way to work i just wanted to give some initial impressions just on the first drive um, i'll get some driving clips later for you but i just really wanted to get my thoughts out because uh, i just drove and it's actually quieter than my awe track which i'm really surprised about it sounds really good um, but i'm actually pretty surprised of how much quieter it is in cabin it's much more tolerable it's not as as boomy it's not as i guess droney um so it's really not that bad especially if you know you're looking for a daily driver exhaust now obviously somebody's loud can be somebody's quiet and somebody's quiet can be somebody's loud but for me uh coming from the awe track the tome is actually quieter in cabin it does sound really good um i will have to get used to actually hearing sound come out of only the driver's side uh but it looks pretty cool I am noticing that the little spring clamps that you use to connect uh, the connections are rattling a little bit on the actual uh, exhaust clamps. You can actually kind of hear it. So it seems to be just coming from the one back here. Um, I do have a remedy for that. I can get some heat rubber loom that you can just put around the springs to kind of rid that, but we will see. You know, I'm gonna rock it for, for the rest of this week. See if I, uh, you know, if I like it any more than the AWE, if I can stand the single exit. Uh, but we'll see. I'll probably end up going back to the AWE track, uh, but it still sounds really good. I'm happy with the look. I think it looks uh, pretty decent. It doesn't bother me as much. The rattling is pretty uh, annoying, but uh, that's a minor thing that you can get addressed. Uh, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out uh, as I'm driving to work uh, and let you guys know just what I think on my initial drive. <laughs> 